on to drama. Talk about drama for your mama, huh? Oh, God. Shut up with your parents. That was another big discussion that we have um i think it was like in the fall of um this year you were i was you were that, that show right i was that we oh my goodness that you know the, the the general consensus on this whole thing you know we, we were saying a lot of people don't really grasp the concept of flying away mm -hmm. spreading your wings <laughs> be a bird see the world in your own house not in your parents. <laughs> I don't, I, I, up until now, I haven't grasped that concept of any good reason. I don't care what financial hardship you're having. You should not be 33 living with your mother, living with your parents, living with your guardian. Like, mm. I, I don't, unless they, in, I guess, unless if they have like a mansion, like if I was like Hugh Hefner's daughter, maybe I wouldn't mind living in the guest house in the back. <laughs> really? Yeah, maybe I wouldn't mind living in the guest house in the back or something like that. But I don't know, like. But we talked about. I think it's so different in the Caribbean, right? Because yeah. we talked about that. Yeah, I think, we. Oh. You no, know, like we don't get it. Mm -hmm. We don't get. It. I think because the islands are generally just so small. Yeah. Even if you move away, it's just still five home. minutes away. Yeah. Like you know why? You know just stay up. No. I, no, I, I definitely, I, I'm just not feeling it. I just think that, you know, your life is your life. Mm -hmm. Your parents are supposed to mold you, guide you, all that good stuff. When they've done a good job, even if they've done a bad job, it's time for you to leave right. and make it good. Or, be an adult. Yeah, just yeah, be an adult. You cannot be an adult and still live with your parents. Like, I just, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. I, um, I, I don't get it. We again, it depends, you know. We understand that it depends. Yes, yeah, you know, some people have plans, you know, they have a long term goal. We, we said it doesn't, we're not going to talk about it based on somebody in college who's just not, yeah. We, yeah, we kind of took out some time. of those things, you know. We right. took out the those things do make sense to me. The people, right. you know, who are really trying to make something of their mm -hmm. life. So, take don't oh, Shiraz, are you no? I'm, 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 I'm human, no, I, I get emotional somewhat um <laughs> but yeah we you know we took out those type of things the people are that are really trying to do something with their lives right. we didn't kind of lump you into that box if you're going to college you're saving up to buy like your own yeah. even those people that save up to buy their own homes that's borderline i don't know because it's like you're taking away I, unless unless you're contributing a lot right. to bills and groceries right just people like who renting. just stay at home and they save up all their money just to buy their house like mm -hmm. i think that's really selfish well i mean if their if their parents or guardians whoever it is like a, is I guess generous a, yeah. like that and allows them to do it then i don't think there's anything wrong with it if they're okay with it and they're helping out somehow okay like completely leaving scot scot free or yeah. whatever you say that's not that's not that's the thing it's like a lot period. of them do and all of them are broke you live with your yeah. parents you never have the money to take me out though yeah. like where's your money going <laughs> yes you really? should have hmm. should be driving the bmw m5 <laughs> at the very least so you have money to be but taking me out to the French that restaurant. that would be irresponsible too, No, though. I'm saying, but you, there's some of these If you guys, can afford to do all this other stuff, why can't you live on your no, own? No, that's true. That's true. I'm saying there's so <laughs> many of them, like, that I'm broke. I can't go out this weekend. How can you not go out this weekend and you don't have a mortgage? You don't have any rent. Like, you don't have mm. an electricity bill. You should be able to go out every night. Like... I don't get like where's your money really going? I don't yeah. really get that. But we had a couple of comments. You wanna go through a couple yeah, of them? Yeah, let's talk about some. Kimani said, um, I think some people still live at home with their parents because they probably because they probably never separated from them um, from since they were young. And so they grow older. As they grow older they still hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they figure that if it won't make a difference with their age, they were hooked on then. So they are hooked, hooked on, on now. now. Okay, and it might not change until the parents kick them out okay. <laughs> and tell them to stand on their own two feet. And that's another thing, I, I, and I think I had said on the yeah, show too, exactly. but it's very important. That's why I, I kind of had pulled up Kim Mine's comments, all the others, was that a lot of these parents, they keep their kids, I guess, so close right. when they're young, mm -hmm. and they don't allow them to go out places by themselves and stuff like that. It's going to be very hard for somebody, like, okay, Mama's now you're 18, boys. just leave. <laughs> you have to kind of like, 
this, that's definitely the parents' fault. Yeah, they enable. Yeah, you know, they a lot of parents. A lot of parents enable. I mean, like I said, there's nothing wrong with a parent helping out their child mm -hmm. because you know I always said that if I'm ever a parent. Mm -hmm. I don't plan for my child to ever have to work and go to school at the same time because okay. it's not a healthy lifestyle. I had to do it and I know it's not that great. So that would be, but at the same time, my child would have a responsibility. He still needs to do stuff. This is only a temporary situation. And responsibility just doesn't include washing dishes. Uh, not just that. <laughs> You're going to get a job. Yes. A little job. Yes. If you want to do. Uh -huh. The extra stuff. I definitely agree with that. We had but a really strange problem. I wanted to pinpoint this one. Um, came from Paris, and only a comment <laughs> like this would come from a Paris. So Paris, if you're still watching, I'm definitely clowning on you on this. Paris commented and she says, I'm 25, I live with my dad primarily because I'm still in college, going to school is expensive, no hell. Um, it's a lot easier to stay at home and if he's willing to provide for me, why try to get myself together, yeah. why not? So everything you just right, said, right. yes. But well, this is where no. things kind of turn. <laughs> this comment from Paris. Paris goes on to say, it does cause drama when I bring home guys with me, but I'm a grown ass woman I do grown ass woman things. I don't care if he's in the house or not. No, I don't care if it's in his house or not. I contribute to the bills, so I'm entitled. Disagree. Yeah, definitely. Paris. Disagree. Yeah. If you want to be such a woman, yeah. Woman, take your backside out of your father's house <laughs> to do your business. The girl says she contributes to the bills, so she's entitled. No, that's pure disrespect. I yeah. don't agree with that. Uh -huh. Sorry. Sorry, Paris. We love you still, though. Like I said, only a car like that would come from your parents, yeah. don't you think? It's, yeah, right? Yeah. Ugh. Paris, again, I'm clowning We still on. love you, Paris. But we still love you, because we <laughs> didn't realize, so we love you.